Hi guys, this is the third video which is going through the solution of this question. Um, so two blocks A and B of weights 500 newtons and 1000 newtons placed on an inclined plane. Um, the blocks are connected by a string parallel to the plane. The coefficient of friction for the inclined plane for block A is 0.15 and for block B is 0.4. We want to find the angle um, where if we were to tilt this system upwards, the angle where motion will start to take place and we're also asked to calculate the tension in the string. So, so far we have created the free body diagram for the system and we have also created a system of equations for um, the block number A. In this next part of the video we're going to be creating a free body diagram for a block, a block B, oh, we've already done that, but we'll create the equilibrium of forces and the equations that relate the equilibrium of forces for block uh, B. Alright, so we'll get started. So here we'll just write down equilibrium of forces for block uh, B. Alright, so for block B we could also draw its free body diagram. So we can do that here. And this is the block. We have the normal force acting up on a at right angles to the surface, so that's in uh, B. We have the weight force, and for block B that was 1000 newtons, and it was acting on an angle theta, which is the same as the angle of the incline. There will be a tension force, which is acting to pull block B down the incline, and also the block is tending to move towards the left so there is a friction force which opposes that motion. That's F uh, B. Uh, to be complete we can write down here impending motion down the incline. Okay, so the next step here is from this free body diagram, we will check out the forces in the x direction and the forces in the y direction and also um, the maximum friction force within that system. Okay, so summation of forces in the x direction is equal to zero. And in the x direction we have the tension force going downhill, so minus T we have the friction force going up the hill or up the incline and then we have a component of the 1000 newton force going down the hill so that will be minus 1000 times sine theta and that's equal to zero okay um, we'll call this equation number one no we already did one so we'll call this equation number six Okay, we can also look at the summation of forces in the y direction, so the sum of forces in the y direction is equal to zero. So in the y direction we have the normal force acting up, and just uh, one component of the 1000 newton force acting down, so that'll be the cosine, so 1000 times cosine theta. Okay, so that's equal to zero, and um, if we want, we can rearrange that. We get uh, NB equal to 1000 times cosine theta. And this one we'll call equation number seven, and we also have one more equation we can look at here. So the summation of, well, sorry, the, the maximum friction force, F max, is equal to mu 
times n for that system. Uh, the maximum friction force is going to be equal to, so we'll write F uh, B max equal to mu for that system. So mu for block uh, B is going to be equal to 0 0.4. So that was from the question 0 0.4 times NB. Alright, so we can call that one equation number 8. and then try to solve that system of equations. So here we'll substitute equation 8 into, uh, sorry, it's equation 7 into equation 8. Um, so let's do that, 7 into equation number 8. So here we can take the 1000 cosine theta and put that into this equation. Alright, so Fb is equal to 0 0.4 times 1000 cosine theta. That gets us 400 times cosine theta. And we can uh, name that, let's say, equation number 9. We can substitute equation number 9 into equation 6. So equation 9 we get so minus t plus 400 times cosine theta minus 1000 sine theta equal to zero. We can rearrange that to make t the subject, so that'll be t equal to 400 cosine theta minus 1000 sine theta. Okay, so now we've got two equations for t, um, one which is t equal to 400 cosine theta minus 1000 sine theta, and the second is from the previous part, where t is equal to 500 sine theta minus 75 cosine theta. In the next video, we'll be looking at solving uh, the value for t using equation 5 and also equation number 10. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.